Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am doing my first ever Christmas tutorial for you guys. So today I am going to be doing my drugstore Christmas tutorial. But yeah, I want to get these Christmas videos out for you guys. Also, if you notice anything different, I'm now filming with a ring light. I just got a ring light. I've done my whole beauty room up. So you guys would be super excited to know that a beauty room tour will be coming soon. Also, if the lighting is a bit funny, just let me know. I think it's going to be okay. I'm so excited to have a ring light now. I'm hoping that it's just going to make stuff 10 times better. So without further ado, if you want to see my drugstore Christmas tutorial, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start off by going in with my BYS primer spray. I absolutely love this stuff. I kind of just fan it into my face, let it sink in. I feel like that works really well. And then I'll also be taking my NYX Photo Loving Primer as well, just because this is really good for smoothing the pores and what not. Okay, so I'm starting off with my eyes. I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Eye Heart Eye Primer. I'm going to prime my eyes with that first. I usually just do my face primer first so it has time to sink in before applying the foundation. And then I'll just set that down with my Mode Press Powder or whatever press powder you have will work perfectly fine. This is just the one that I usually go for. Now I'm going to jump off camera, do my brows and come back. I do have a brow tutorial on my channel if you guys want to see that, as well as I'll probably do an updated one in the new year if you guys are interested in that, but not a lot has changed, but that is what I'm going to go do. I'm going to start off by taking the Coastal Scents Hot Pot in the shade Peach Persian. It's basically a dupe for Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie. So I'm just going to take that on a fluffy brush and run that into my crease. I'm now going to be taking the shade Oktoberfest, which is this brown colour here, and kind of working that into my outer V and crease area. And then I'm going to take a raisin berry, which is this ready type of shade here. It is shimmery and just kind of build that on top of that brown shade we just placed down. Now, if you guys are on a budget and love single shadows, these Coastal Scents single shadows are honestly amazing. Would highly recommend. So I'm going to wet my brush and I'm going to take these two green shades. This one here is Limelight by Coastal Scents and this one here is Kiwi Green. I feel like on their own they'll be a bit too, either too dark or too light, but together they'll be perfect. So I'm just going to wet a flat brush with some water and then start packing the two together. Now I know some people might think that green is not super wearable, but I feel like Christmas time you can kind of get away with it. Oh, these two shades together make a gorgeous green colour. And then you can just go in with that brush you used before and sort of just blend over the two together. I'm now going to apply my favourite 208 lashes from eBay. These are about $1.60 a pair Australian. You guys know that I'm obsessed with these. You're probably sick of me talking about them because I love them that much.
Okay, so my eyes are done. Now going in with foundation. I'm taking one of my favorites. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect in the shade 02 Natural. I'm applying that with my Zoeva Silk Finish Brush. My favorite way to do foundation ever. I'm obsessed with this foundation. Now to conceal, I'm taking the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Light. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so excited to use this. I legit have not used this in, I want to say, like, three weeks. Just because it's been sitting away in, like, a travel bag. Which I've been too lazy to get out, but it's good because I've been trying, like, other concealers. set I'm taking my wet n wild caramel toffee and the banana shade for the rest of my face just going in with my Australis fresh and flawless powder to bronze I'm gonna take my Milani press powder in the shade honey amber it is a pressed powder, but it's super dark, so I like to use it for a bronzer, and it works really good for a bronzer. And then to contour, I'm going to take the lighter one of the Wet n Wild Contour Kits. To bake, I'm taking the Technic Color Fix Powder in the shade Cafe. For blush, I'm taking the Savvy Baked Blush in the shade Coral Crush. It's just this gorgeous corally color. And it has a bit of a glow if you guys can see that. Okay, I'm just going to go in and finish off the eyes. I'm going to take that first brown shade we used and just run that along my lower lashes. Then take a bit of that raisinberry and just kind of put that in the outer. Okay, to finish off the eyes, I'm going to take this white shade, which is called White Silver from Coastal Scents, and I'm just going to pop that underneath my brow bone. And also in the inner corner, just to give the gorgeous bright pop. Now to finish off with my favorite part, which is highlighter. I'm going to try this City Color Intense Exposure Highlight for the first time. This is just no shade. It's just on its own. I'm firstly just going to wet my highlighter brush because if you guys know me, you know I like an intense highlight. And I'm just going to start applying that to my face. It's giving a nice glow so far. It's just like a neutral white champagne type of highlight. But because I want to go extra today, I am going to put another highlighter on top of it. I'm going to use my Technic Strobe Kit 
in the shade blush and kind of just mix the two powder shades together. This is such an intense highlight, you guys. That is highlight done. Now to finish off with the lips, I, of course I'm going to do a red lip seeing as it is a Christmas tutorial. I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Spiced, which is this gorgeous ready shade, if I can get it open. Now going in with the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Kitten Heels. Oh, this shade is gorge. Now to just finish off with the Wet n Wild setting spray. And this right here is going to complete my look for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this drugstore affordable makeup Christmas tutorial, my first one. I thought I went safe going for green. I think it looks awesome. I loved how it turned out. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the tutorial. This is just my drugstore one. I really hope you guys enjoy. Everything will be linked down below, products, whatnot, if you guys want to check out what I used. But I love you all so much. Thank you for staying tuned into another video of mine. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.